Hello everyone, this is Eric KJ4YZI and the question today is why? Why should I choose the Baofeng radio as my first choice into amateur radio? Why would this radio make a good fit for a beginner into ham radio operations? In this video, I'll give you a couple key facts as to why I think this radio is a perfect choice for somebody that is brand new into hobby and also why I think this radio has done a lot to contribute to our ham radio hobby as we know it today. This Baofeng right here is the UV5R. There's a lot of different variants of this radio, but this is the one that started it all. This radio cost me online on Amazon $26. For $26 on Amazon, I can expect to get everything I need to turn this radio on and operate it out of the box, including a standard antenna, a battery, a belt clip, a drop-in charger, and even a voice readout for those who are visually impaired. Now, this radio for $26 can do VHF frequencies on ham radio, UHF frequencies on ham radio, but a lot of them can also receive frequencies that are not in the ham band, such as VHF, Marine, GMRS, FRS, Business Band, Public Safety, Fire, EMS, and more, can all be received on this radio. You can't transmit on those radio, those frequencies with this radio, but you can receive them. And you have to have an amateur radio license to transmit on ham bands with this radio. Now for $26 and what it comes with enables me to talk across the county, across the state, or across the world on different platforms like Echolink or All Star. We'll get into more of that in the future. But for $26, that's a good start. Now with that being said, you get the idea. It's very inexpensive to get started with the Baofeng, but what about accessories, optional accessories from major manufacturers are usually a lot more and they everybody's got to have accessories for their new device, right? How about a speaker mic that can be mounted on your lapel, will work with pretty much any Baofeng they've ever made, gives you a better sound and a better opportunity to use it like a mobile radio in your vehicle or maybe at a public service event where you're assisting and it's mounted on your lapel, $8 for a speaker mic like this. That's a quarter of the cost that a normal major manufacturer of ham radio would want for their own speaker mic. But if speaker mics aren't for you, maybe you want a little more discreet. Maybe you want something like an earpiece that could mount under your shirt with a PTT button that could be mounted here. And you have the clear uh, tube here that can be run down your neck so that you can't really see it. Maybe you want to be a little more discreet at your shelter or even at your house while you're sitting on the couch listening in your ear without holding the radio up to your head. Something like this, $7. Batteries are very plentiful for these radios. They're extended capacity batteries to give you longer run times and you can have a whole pocket full of batteries so that you can stay in communication for days on end. But what happens if you want to get something like a battery eliminator? This battery eliminator will clip on the back of your radio, plug into a standard cigarette lighter or power port in your car or truck and give you communications and power as long as you're driving or even sitting for days with that car battery. How about this? six dollars for something like this. So the idea is it's very inexpensive to get into this hobby with a $26 Baofeng and $20 of accessories. Now let's say you graduate and you want to go into something bigger and better. You've educated yourself, you've upgraded your license, you want something bigger and better. You want a better handheld. There are other options out there. For instance, this one's $250, but it has a lot more than what the Baofeng can do. How about Bluetooth, GPS, APRS, digital and analog, tons more memories and a color screen. This radio right here is six times the cost of something like a Baofeng, but you'll appreciate this radio more when you start with something like a Baofeng. So I think the Baofeng radio definitely aids you in knowing how to master this radio, but how to appreciate spending more of your hard-earned money on a more expensive radio. HamRadioPrep.com offers a basics to the Baofeng course. This learning course will teach you exactly how to use this new Baofeng. With your new amateur radio operator's license, you can learn how to use this to program frequencies, how to switch between the repeaters, how to talk to the repeaters, even how to make your first call on your new radio. Nobody wants to get an FCC ham radio license, a new piece of gear and say, how do I use that? What do I do? Even buying a $500 radio for your very first radio will not make you a better ham radio operator. HamRadioPrep.com has all the material, all the resources to help you understand what you're being tested on when you get your FCC license, and you can be confident with a money back guarantee that you can walk out of that testing center and know exactly what you were tested on and you'll be that much more prepared as a new amateur radio operator instead of memorizing test questions and answers on the site and going through and doing the test 
and walking out of there and saying, I have no idea what that meant. HamRadioPrep.com has all the information to make you more experienced. I hope to talk to you on the air one day with your new license. 73 KJ4 YZI.